Hi, my How name is Matilda. Today I'll be talking about like dogs due to their lack of capability to show their scientific name as candy slippers. Also, because These of their name, they can carry more high strength and aggressive personality in Eurasia. Dogs will eventually they challenge their long red tips, pushy tails, and grey coat. They grow up to 5 feet long and live up to 15 years. Wolves usually live in a pack of 4 to 15 members and are mammals capable of living in the deserts, grasslands, forests, and cold regions of the Arctic. They hunt within a territory of 50 square miles to over a thousand and travel as far as needed to find prey. The alpha male and female are the only ones that breed in a pack. Wolves cannot be domesticated in any ways, they can only be tamed. Many argue that dogs are descendants of wolves which have been tamed and domesticated for centuries, thus making them an ideal pet for humans. Evidence shows that wolves have been used by the Indians in South America, East Asia and Europeans for hunting purposes. However, on whole, they can't be domesticated like dogs due to their lack of tractability and socialization window. Also, because of their instincts and inherently high, strong and aggressive personality, wolves will eventually challenge a human for dominance as though the human were another wolf. Not so long ago, wolves roamed nearly all of the United States. Between 250,000 and 500,000 wild wolves lived in harmony with Native Americans and the rest of the ecosystem. They have been seen in Native American paintings displayed as powerful creatures. Theodore Roosevelt claimed the wolves as the beast of waste and destruction and called for its eradication all over America. By the 1960s, the last 300 wolves in the lower 48 states roamed the deep woods of Upper Michigan and Minnesota, running and hiding at the first sight of humans. After the monumental declaration that the grey wolf was protected under the Endangered Species Act in 1974, wolf recovery became possible in new areas. After realizing how useful grey wolves can be to the nature in 1995, 21 wolves were introduced to Yellowstone Park in the US. After the introduction, there were lesser coyotes and elks around, allowing different species of animals and plants once lost in that region to be able to thrive again. Wolves are famous and common in Red Indian and nomadic cultures. They view wolves as an animal sent to protect them. The admiration of the wolves' power and courage is the main reason why these animals were included in the early Indian ceremonies. While the Eskimos of Alaska are very caring and considerate towards the wolves. Wolves are very emotional and intelligent creatures. When going for a hunt, they use social cooperation to conduct and plan a coordinated attack. When running into a herd of prey, they continuously test the animals and make decisions on which single animal they eventually will kill. They test them by their smells, catching the herd and looking for weaknesses and sometimes waiting. Wolves are protected by the Endangered Species Act 1974 and in 1978, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services declared all species of Canis lupus south of Canada as endangered. This has helped many wolves from becoming extinct by preventing them from being hunted. The recovery of wolves is no longer a dream. Compared to the early 1900s, wolves' population are at a thriving rate. They are also no longer categorized as endangered animals, thanks to the Endangered Species Act created in 1974. However, wolves are still being hunted by many in states like Idaho and Montana. Wildlife organizations like the Wolves and Human Foundation are helping ways to protect gray wolves by monitoring state legislation for bills that put wolves' lives in danger and trying to prevent it. However, now the USFWS wants to remove the wolves' protected status. The prey wolf is protected under the Endangered Species Act, and while conservation efforts have been very successful, scientists believe that removing their protected status is a premature move. Wolves are essential to maintaining a balanced ecosystem. They keep deer and elk populations in check. Preying on the weak and sick, thus keeping the herds healthy. Without a large natural predator, herds can ruin ecosystems and cause an imbalance in a region's flora and fauna. Currently, the future for wolves seem to be hanging under a knife. All we have to do is say no to anti-wolf agendas and try to donate or adopt a wolf in order to keep this species from extinction. Wolves are still hunted for their fur, teeth, meat, and bones. We do not need these as souvenirs. Instead, can all learn to live in harmony and help to keep the wolves thriving in their natural habitat.
Thank you so much for listening. Created using Powtoon.